Hey everyone, it's Deb Naylor from The Flying Stamper, and it is Sunday, November 20th, and I am here today to go over the From the North Pole Paper Pumpkin Kit. Um, this is the November 2022 Paper Pumpkin Kit. If you haven't gotten your kit yet, don't worry because I just got mine yesterday. So there was a holiday and so that always slows everything down a little bit. And then the mails in general is running a little bit slower because we're getting towards the holidays. So this particular kit um, for November was actually a tag kit. You got um, all the ingredients to make um, 12 different tags, three different designs. And I'll go over those with you here in just a second. As always, you got um, all of the um, supplies, including adhesives, an exclusive stamp set. And this was a pretty good size stamp set. I love this big circle with the um, reindeer in it. And then I love the Merry Christmas, which has got two different fonts in it. So really cute stamp set, and then the Open Me, isn't that cute? That's going to be fun to put on the outside of envelopes. And then, of course, a spot. You always get at least one spot. This month it was Cherry Cobbler. And my tip for you on the spots is always just open them up. I like to take my paper snips and just get in there and open up one end on the label and then leave the other intact so your lid stays together. Make sure that you store your spots upside down when you're not using them. And I always like to put a little piece of cardstock or you can write the name on the uh, spot so you know what color without having to pit turn them over. Um, and something that was really fun about this kit was there were some kind of exclusive products. There was this mint macaroon um, twine and then there was mint macaroon um, snowflakes and on glimmer paper just absolutely gorgeous now you will get this sheet with four different snowflakes on it and you can see I've been very busy with this leftover so I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in a few minutes but hang on to that negative when you get through um, okay so let's talk about the projects um, how they're made they go together really easily I don't have a whole lot of tips for you because it's a very simple um, kit this month so this is one of the patterns and then here's another one and then the only tip i have with you for you on this one is to lay the stamp on its back and ink it up that way and then this is a pretty big bold stamp so you're going to want to walk across your um, stamp a lot with your ink pad and then a little bit of pressure um, you don't need to rock just straight up and down pressure and then here's the last one these are super cute, super cute. So I knew going into um, this month that I was only probably gonna make a few tags and then use the rest of them um, on cards. So these you can just easily add to a card base and have a very quick and cute Christmas card. But I went in a lot of different directions. So let me just kind of go through what um, I came up with and kind of talk to you a little bit about what I added on. So this one is on a um, crumb cake card base. And the only thing I added to the kit, or to this project, is the snowflakes. These are in the mini catalog. And you get 24 of these for $6. Um, they're called Wonderful Snowflakes, and they're item 156340. These are um, going to be going away soon. The mini catalog ends on January 4th. And tomorrow I'll be releasing some information about a sale. You may have seen it already uh, from other demonstrators, but there is a last chance sale that starts on December 1st. And these are actually gonna be on sale um, at that time. They're gonna be pretty reasonable. So that's the only thing I added was the card base and the um, snowflake. All right, so here's another one, and this is really going out of the box on color. So early espresso card stock, and then a um, crumb cake card base coordinates with the um, tag. And then I did um, dry emboss the early espresso layer with um, the fern 
embossing folder, 3D embossing folder. And then the only other thing I added on this one was just a little bit of um, the red ribbon. This is actually in the mini catalog too. It comes in a two pack, garden green and real red. This is actually gonna carry over, so it will be available um, after the mini catalog ends too. All right, and then here's another real simple one. Everything except the card base uh, comes from the tag. So I just added um, basic white card um, base and then everything else came from the kit. So that just shows you, let me just show you the back of this. Um, you can make super quick cards with this. You don't really need to add much, just a card base will be fine. Okay, so you kind of got the idea on that. Um, one of the cool things about the kit this month was there was some add-on products that you could pre-order, and those are called the North Pole Sacks, and they come in a pack of 12, and they were only $4. Um, let's see here. They are item number 162416. North Pole Sacks, package of 12, $4. So they go really cute with the tags. So here's one where I use the tags. Now I did add on this one a bow and then another one of the snowflakes. And then these um, little bags are food safe, so they work great for holiday treats. I found these cool little tech wipes at Ulta and um, they were five for a dollar. So what a great little stocking stuffer or a gift for a niece or a nephew or a friend, or a neighbor, or your husband, you know. It's a really versatile gift and it fits nicely in the um, North Pole sack. Okay, let's see here. Um, all right, so you know that I like to play with negatives, right? So this is one of the negatives. I just trimmed it up a little bit and it makes a really nice uh, layer. And then I added it to a basic white layer and then I cut a cherry cobbler layer and then everything else is from the kit. Now this little circle that's in the middle of the snowflake actually comes from the kit. All of the um, tags have a little hole punched in them and you have to push that um, punch out through. So I saved all of those and I just put them in the middle of different things. So you'll see those again here in just a minute. So again, this is the mint macaroon leftover um, from the tags negative that I just played with there. All right, now here's another um, idea. So you have this one mint macaroon layer. It's pretty good sized. Before you glue it down to anything, you can actually stick one of your punches in and get a couple of punches out. And that's what I did on this card. And then remember I told you that there was these little punch outs. So these little dots came from right here. And then I did punch a few extras because you only get four, I believe. So I wanted a, a few more just to kind of jazz it up. And so this is a real simple, um, card. It's on uh, basic white a cherry cobbler and then I use the eucalyptus folder and then this is um, from the kit and then like I said I use these negative things from the uh, mint mac room glimmer. All right here's another use of um, the negatives. So you've got these cute little white snowflakes that come in the kit. Let me show you them. And once you punch those out, then you have this piece left over. So I use that just as a layer. And then again, I started using little punches or dies out of this leftover mint macaroon to fill in that. Um, and then this comes from the kit. I love this sentiment. I know I already said that, but I really love it. And this also comes from the leftover negative too. So I really use the negatives well um, in this particular kit. All right, here's another one. Some more little punch outs that I used from the leftover mint macaroon glimmer. All right, and then here's another one. So the, in this one, I took another one of those snowflakes that I talked about earlier, just layered it on top of the mint macaroon um, snowflake. And then again, I used another punch out. 
This is all from the kit, and then it's mounted on mint macaron. If you are one of my um, Paper Pumpkin subscribers, I will put all of these samples in the file for this month, so you'll have access to them. So when I was done, I still had quite a few little oddballs left over, so I just made a few more quick tags. I don't like throwing anything away, and I also like to get my kit completely used up. And so these will just jazz up, you know, a bottle of wine or maybe some homemade goodies for a neighbor. And it just makes this gift a little bit, or the gift a little more special. Okay, so I kind of mentioned this already, but let me just remind you that this mini catalog ends January 4th. And many products are going to be retiring. And those some of those products have already sold out. And that um, means that they won't be in stock any longer. So I would encourage you, if you wanted anything out of these mini catalogs, to order sooner rather than later. There will be a list coming out tomorrow um, on my uh, blog and on my Facebook page. Um, that shows everything that's going to be on sale. Some items are on sale, some aren't. Now, if you're one of your my Paper Pumpkin subscribers, then start watching for this to arrive the middle of December. I'm just in the process right now of ordering these, and this beautiful mini catalog starts on January 5th, and believe, trust me, you're going to want it. There's lots of beautiful spring products. In addition to that, you will also get the celebrations catalog. So those two will come together. Celebration starts on January 5th and goes through February 28th. There is one, only one celebration for 2023. And I'm sorry I can't open the catalog. I'm not allowed to do that. Um, but hopefully you'll get yours maybe the middle of December. You never know about the mail these days. Okay, so let's see. Let, what else do we need to talk about? Well, we need to talk about next month. So next month's kit is called Good Things Come in Small Packages. And it is going to be um, a kit that you will be able to create 16 gift card holders, two each of eight reversible designs. I really like that because to me that means that they're gonna be really versatile throughout the year so I can use them for a lot of different things. Um, as always, there will be a stamp set included that is exclusive, and then there will be a garden green ink spot, and I'm kind of excited about that. I don't think I have a garden green ink spot. Um, in addition, there is also an add-on kit for the December Paper Pumpkin, and it's a um, card base kit, and it is a great deal. So um, it is $10.00. And it's called the Good Things Cards and Envelopes. It's item number 163134. And those are available now to order while supplies last. There are 20 cards and envelopes, and there's four different colors. So let me just show you those real quick. So there's a gray one with a coordinating gray striped envelope. So you get five of each color. And there is a pink one with a coordinating envelope. And then there's a green one with a coordinating envelope. And then there's a blue one with a coordinating envelope. So I'm really liking these card bases. Um, one of the things I really like about them is the colors because I can see that they're gonna be very versatile. I can use them for guy cards, baby cards, girl cards, kid cards, all kinds of different uses come to mind with them. So if you want to get, if you're not a current subscriber right now, and you'd like to get the good things come in small packages, um, gift card boxes, be sure that you do subscribe by December 10th. And if you want to order any of those add-ons, those are while supplies last. So either the North Pole sacks or the good thing cards and envelopes, both of them are while supplies last. Okay, I hope that, um, you are having a great weekend, and I want to wish every one of you a very blessed and wonderful Thanksgiving. I will talk to you again next month after we get our December kits. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.